Well, what's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another dope tutorial. Yes, sir. So today, the tutorial is fairly simple. I've been watching a lot of reels and a lot of TikTok and I've seen this trend um, with masking out the photos. So I figured I'd help you guys out and go ahead and show you how I do it and how you can take it up a level and present your work in a different way. And we all know we all need content nowadays. So it's just another way to get some content. Another Today we're gonna be using Brent Fias just because he just dropped the Wasteland album and he's from the DMV. So I figured we just use him. So it's a quick, fairly quick, fairly easy tutorial. It's gonna be Premiere Pro, but you can also do this um, in Photoshop and then just bring everything over. And if you could please, 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 man, leave that like so the algorithm knows this video is lit and subscribe to the community so you don't miss the next drop. And then comment if you find something interesting or if you just wanna talk some shit, I'm all for it. If you wanna get down in the DMs, we can do that too. But anyways, you guys, we're gonna hop into the computer and get this thing started. Yes, sir. So we're just gonna hop right into the computer and let's get started. So pretty much I got this blank set up here. I just created a new project. What you're gonna do first is create, uh, well, I already kind of got the photos that I'm gonna use. Uh, today we're gonna use Brent Fias. He just dropped the album. And he's from the DMV, shout out to that. Um, and we just do something quick, just so you guys, I seen this trend and I just wanted to just hop on it. Like I said, we have the photos, we have the malicious items that we're gonna already use. You can go ahead and start by creating a new sequence. I already have like a good custom amount of sequences, so I'm gonna use my vertical feed. And for that, you can pretty much still do it. Just go to digital, SLR, or whatever you need to do it for. Click your settings, go to settings, and then click type in 1080 by 1920, right? And then you'll have all your other settings. And then we'll just name this like um, Brent Real or something like that. Press OK. So now you're going to have this. Also, what I like to do is right click on that. And I like to put the safety margins on there just so I know like the safety outlines to just kind of stay within. I was watching the tutorial and I watched how somebody else used this. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to move my window to the side here and stretch my window out. I have never done that before. And you can also save your workspaces if you want to. So you can have like a vertical workspace, the 1080 workspace, a 4K workspace. This is just the workspace we're gonna be working off of right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your photos, man, and he's gonna dump all your photos on there. Pretty much what I'm gonna do first is right click, select all the photos. And I only want this to be about, since we only have nine photos, I want everything to be about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna put this at about, about one second. I'll put this at 15 seconds. The marker, boop, 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 boop. Put this at 15 seconds, create a marker. Right click on all of these. Speed duration. Go ahead and just click for one second. Click that. Make this a one and then zero it out. So now everything turns to like one second now. Kind of select what one I wanna use first. Stretch it out, it's about the one second mark already. Then the next image that you wanna do, pick that one. I wanna do probably like an outdoor image. So like, and we put it like here, a little bit, not too much, just give it some time. So now you got like here, here, you feel me? And then you're just gonna wanna layer them all up like that first. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay guys, so after you pretty much have everything pretty much layered up, you're gonna go ahead and select everything, right click and then scale everything. Now you just still wanna make it adjusted to it takes up the full space. So here we go, we have this full space. And me, I'm anal, so to start this, to start this transition off, I just wanna start with a scale. So I'm gonna start with a with a push in, like start here, bring it into like right here, and then bring it to where I need it to be, right here. And then we're just gonna go easy out just to start it off. Now you go like that. It's gonna come into this. So now what you're gonna do is create this new track above this one. Add new track. Boom. 
take it, press Alt, or you can press Control V. It's up to you. You wanna turn turn this one off for a second. So then this 18 seconds to right here. Take this one, move it down, and this one you can pretty much cut and delete this one. But to start it off, you wanna scale it up. And then for me, I'm just gonna cut Brent out. You're just gonna use this mask tool like this since it is a photo. Once again, you can do this with video. I think this uh this effect did stem from a video effect of like the pic the videos coming on before, and they just use that same effect for the photos. So for me, right now I'm about to just cut out Brent using the masking tool. Okay. Okay guys, so now you have your little part. So now you're gonna have this coming in and then you have this one coming in and then the next image. And that's pretty much the basis of the effect. You go like this, this comes in, then this comes in. And then whatever this dimensions were, you just copy, paste those. So then it just kind of boom, boom. You see what I'm saying? There's just a lot going on. Now you're just gonna do that and keep masking it for each one. So once again, find your clip, create the new track, duplicate the track, move it back, move it up. Kinda wanna scale it up, move it over, just copy these settings paste these settings then you mask out what you want to do if you want to mask out just the windows you know what I'm saying? you could probably do that too but let's go ahead and just cut him out so now we're going to do something a little bit different for this particular one so now as this one comes in so now you got the next one going in this one this image comes in but instead of just having this one come in we're going to go down pull it down and then we're gonna block out these so press control K cut this one out and then what we're gonna do is take out the boxes the window panes just to switch it up right and then you're gonna press this right here and invert so now we're gonna see the different parts. So you got this right here. If you want to, just take it, copy it again. Right, delete this mask and create another window. So now you have two of them. And then right here, you'll have this, you know what I'm saying? Now, and scale this up, scale, bring that scale back to where it needs to be, 123. Start to scale at like 130. Boom. Move it down a little bit. Watch how it works. So now you have this. Hit. Boom. There you go. Now, move everything back down. Do the same thing. Create those masks. So we're just going to speed up the rest of the mask so then we can start adding some of the other effects. With these effects, you guys, like I said, you guys can start acting, get a little freaky with them, just so they have some different looks. Treat it just like it was a music video. So for this one, I am gonna add like one, two, I'm gonna add an invert effect on these. Just go to the thing and press invert, and then drop those on there. So now we got like a look like this. Right before the next one comes in. So when the next one comes in, we're gonna scale this one up. And you could bring it down too. So like, if you wanted to, they don't always all have to have like that cut out effect, but that is the basis of the effect. But you can press like Luma key, start this Luma key here, throw the threshold at like zero, create some keyframes, throw a couple of keyframes, and then just go with your settings. Get a cut off at 100, 100. Right, and then just easy ease those. Boom. So now you got something that look like that. Now the next one, once again, we just, for the rest of them, we're just gonna do the regular mask, but I just wanna show you guys a few variations of things that you could do.
Okay, and then lastly for the effects you guys you guys always don't have to choose the, like the main character You can always choose some of the elements that's going on like the hat or like the phone or something along the lines like the background before you bring in the actual image so it's not redundant that's what i'm saying just trying to give it a bunch of different looks so it looks and gonna hold the attention for your audience so for this one i am going to cut out just the hand oh, so now it looks like he's looking at the camera i feel like that's pretty cool so Right now, let's just see what we have before we add some of these extra effects. This is what we got right now. That's pretty cool, you guys. What you guys think? I think that's a pretty good first little take since, like I said, it's not our images. We're not going too crazy. This is just showing you guys what you can do uh, for some of the effects that they got going on. Go back to our malicious folder. And like I said, the link is in the description. Grab my animated overlays. I feel like it's a quick tool to use for any of these. So like I said, I'm just gonna grab my paper texture, put my paper texture over top of this, and then create a nice little light screen on it. Either lighten or screen, whatever one gives you that vibe. I'm kind of liking screen. So now you got this paper texture kind of on there. And then I'm actually gonna grab the photocopy texture in there as well just so it has like that strong paper texture. And then for this one, I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. Boom, scale it down just a bit. There you go. And same thing. You see the overlay, soft light. So I'm just gonna give it some texture. So I'm gonna put this at like 75. I'll put the other one at like 50%. Yeah, what y'all think? I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a cool little quick effect, man. Something seem off about that, don't it? I feel like we're missing, we're missing pieces, right? So, all right. If we get, if you have that problem that I have too, you can just delete the ne nested sequence, take everything up, move everything back to the top, delete this, unlink, delete it. All right. So if you guys are having that issue too, you can go back to that nested sequence and then just drag it and pull everything back. Cause I don't know why it just gave me like that um, that issue, whatever, but that's just a quick way of, to keep everything together. But yeah, there you go. And that's pretty much the basis of the effect, you guys. Pretty simple, quick effect. All right, you guys, so I hope that helped you in some way, shape or form. As always, you guys, I hope that got the gears turning for you and your next project and you were inspired buy something i did so then you can do it on your own project man once again don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the community lastly just keep hustling keep creating and most importantly keep learning guys and until next time ollie dope i'm checking out yes sir